Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metal Oreo Music Reviews, where today I will be reviewing the new Acacia Strain album called Step Into the Light. Now there is like a, a this is like a double record. So the first side is called Step Into the Light. The next song is called the next um like part for the record. The ne the, the other side um is called Failure Will Follow. I did not get a chance to listen to Failure, Failure Will Follow yet, so we will not be including that in the review. Just thought I should mention that. Um, but let's get into the review. First song that we have is called Flourishing. Uh, the opening of this song is pretty cool. It's pretty slammy, so I like that. Um, it's pretty short at 1 minute and 20 seconds, but it's a pretty good song for what it is. Uh, next song we have is called Calf's Blood. This one was cool. I like the bass. There's some moments you could hear the bass, which I thought was pretty cool. And the guitarists are pretty cool again. Again, pretty short, but cool. Uh, next one we have is called Chain featuring Jacob Lilly. This one was okay. I didn't really like this one as much as the opening two tracks. It gets a little muddy at times with the production when the drums are like doing the blasts and stuff. It gets a little muddy there. Still pretty cool. Um, next song we have is called Fresh Bones. This one, okay as well. It wasn't too huge on this one. But kind of the same issue with this one as uh, they did with the last track. It's kind of muddy. Um, and it's just kind of short. Like, I would do wish these songs were longer. Some of the guitar parts are pretty cool in this song, though. Uh, next song we have is called Teeth of the Cursed Dog, which is a badass song title. I really do like that song title. Um, I like this one more. It was pretty groovy, which I do like. Um, and as you guys may know, I'm a sucker for a good groove. Uh, like I said, six song title too. Next song is called Open Wound. This one is cool too. I like the drums on this track a lot. And again, the groove was really good. Next song is called Skin Hole featuring Joseph Alfonso. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I like the intro to this one. It's different than the other, so it offers like a nice change of pace in the album. Uh, overall, like I said, nice change in the pace of the album. Uh, while still maintains that groove, which I really like. Next song we have is called Is This Really Happening? This one had some pretty cool parts too. I really like, again, love the groove. Uh, and there's some pretty cool drum parts in this one too. Next song we have is called Untended Graves. This one is really good. I, I really dig this one. Loved, loved the groove. The vocals are also really well, really good in this one. I love Vincent's vocals on the on pretty much all of the Acacia Strain stuff. Like from what I've heard, they, I love Vincent's, Vincent's vocals. Next one and the last song on this album is called None of, Ask, None of Us Ask to Be Here. This one is a pretty cool way to close the album. I like the riffs in this track. Uh, it still kind of maintains that sound this whole album has, but pretty good way to close the track, the album. Uh, now it's time for my favorite songs. My favorite songs were Flourishing, uh, Teeth of the Dog, Teeth of the Cursed Dog, and Skin Hole. My final impressions, uh, now it's time for those. This was an interesting album. It definitely had some cool parts. Uh, do not really enjoy the mix though. I kind of wish that was better, not so raw. Like I, I do enjoy when mixed. I do enjoy raw mixes, like some of the raw mix bands I can exam I can think of, for example, are like the early days of Suicide Silence, like the um, the cleansing. Like that's pretty raw mix. Um, and some of Cannibal Corpse's pretty early stuff are also raw mix. So I do like it when mixes are raw. I just, there's something off about this mix that I didn't really like. Um, also the songs are pretty short for my liking. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. I thought this was pretty cool. Just like I said, muddy mix and songs are pretty short for my liking. So that's about it today for my review of the Acacia Strains album, Step Into the Light. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Peace.